now this is why i always tell you subscribe to this channel if you are a new viewer and you've never subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button and if you're a returning viewer and you've never subscribed this is the time to do so why because i upload such kind of videos where i share with you information on how to invest how to make your money and all those kind of things by the way this information was never shared with us when we were growing up and we went through the entire system of the school today's topic is about smart way to never pay your rent can you imagine that last time we talked about the land the other time we talked about the car now we are talking about how to actually hack paying your rent and by the way guess what stick around watch this video to the end and by the end of this video i dare promise you i'm gonna live in a situation whereby you'll be like wow i didn't even know that exists okay let's get into the business and by the way make sure that you hit that like button and comment down below if you did benefit say i benefited out of this video let's get into the business now here we are we all know me you and anyone and everyone out there there is something that most of the people tend to hate People tend to hate paying rent. People hate paying rent, okay? Because most of the people be like, oh my goodness, when will I even own my home because I want to stay? By the way, if you ask me, if there is something great to any human being is owning a home, that's for sure. And people hate paying this rent. And how exactly can you hack this? And if you can bear with me, there are these people that you find like, let's say you are here, you're watching this video, and perhaps maybe say you've tried your best and you have saved yourself somewhere like a million shilling, okay? A million shilling for those who are not Kenyan, that's like 10,000 US dollars, okay? That's like 10,000. US dollars. Now, that's the money that you have said. But honestly speaking, this money cannot make you actualize you owning a home. You cannot be able to use this amount of money, buy yourself a land, and guess what? At the same time, build yourself a home. Unless you want to build it at very remote places. And obviously, maybe those remote places, they are far from your jobs and they are far from where you usually get your gigs. Now, the point is this. You usually find people, in the process of them owning a home, they use a wrong and long formula. What do they do? Once they acquire their first billion, they rush into the land acquisition you go purchase yourself a land somewhere which is nothing wrong okay but now the problem is this once you acquire that land you do what you call the land banking you do not have the capacity to build yourself a home but what if i tell you you can use that amount of money and hack you not paying your rent you use the same same amount of money you still have your money but the same same money is helping you to pay your rent there's a reality, there's a fact. And then later, you can accumulate it until you reach to a certain particular point. Now you can take that money and empty into a land acquisition and also building your home. And I'm giving you real examples that I personally do, some other friends of mine do, and a couple of guys whom I do within my circle do. So I'm not giving you things that are not yet to be practiced. I'm giving you things that are practiced, things that are known. And this is exactly how it goes about, okay? Now, this is you. Let's call you David. Now, this is you. Today, let's call Jane. Then now, this is Jane, okay? Now, this Jane, she has been trying her best as much as she can. She has just uh, tried to save here and there. And guess what happens? Jane has a million bob. See this now, this million bob that Jen has, or 10,000 USD for your sake, or for those who do not understand our Kenyan currency. Now, what happens now? Jane, this money she knows very well, it's not enough to buy a piece of land at the same time build him a home. But Jane, she goes acquire the land, which is a long and wrong process. Now, what are you supposed to do? Get this amount of money, subject this cash into an investment, okay? Subject this money into an investment that does what? That gives you what we call the monthly returns that gives you what we call the monthly returns okay and by the way for your information we only have one uh, we only have one investment method that can give you the monthly returns and this one is actually none other than an mmf this one gives you the monthly return because the other one that you can talk about t bills this one gives you semi annually assuming that you go for the uh, for the one year one okay and the other one is actually for uh, the other one is about t bills this again gives you semi annually if you go to the shares this one gives you annually and what have you so mmf it's the only one that can actually go ahead be able to fill this basket of monthly returns money market fund pays you each and every month money comes in now this is the point now you take this a million bob instead of getting the land that yes you're banking it on the purposes of it appreciating but it's not giving in what you call the cash flow and remember what i told you cash flow is of essence how about then she does this okay she delay what we call the delayed gratification but she don't want to idle this money in a bank she still want to use this money for her to actually go ahead and pay the rent now she get this money and channel that money towards a money market fund okay you channel that money to a money market fund a money market fund that is giving you 13 percent okay a money market that is giving you 13 percent now that means let's even call it uh, around uh let's even call it yeah let's give it at 13 or even say 12 percent okay 
we do have money market fund in Kenya that are going all the way up to 16%, some even up to 17%, okay? I'm just giving it an average of, say, 13%. So if you get this money subjected to a money market fund that is giving you 13%, guess what happens now? See, this money, 13%, 13% of a million bob, Okay, 13% of a million bob. How much is that? For those who do mathematics quite quick, again, that gives you 130,000 Kenyan shillings at the end of the year. Right? At the end of the year, this is where the amount of money that you get. Now, what happens now? You can get this amount of money, which is 130,000. You divide it by 12. Why? Because a year is made up of 12 months. Once you divide by this, you're going to get something close to sort of call it like 12,300 or something of sort call it 12,300 Kenyan shillings each and every month this is the money that is coming in every month go ahead and ask yourself probably this Jane she's paying her house rent maybe worth 9,000 maybe she's paying a house house rent worth 9,000 now this 9,000 you can actually get it from the 12,000 you're remaining with 3,000. So basically it means that this amount of money that you're getting as your return from this Abadi market fund, it is enough to not only pay your rent, but at the same time, maybe this one can pay your water, it can maybe pay your Wi-Fi, it can maybe be say your, your electricity and what have you. Guess what now happens now? This money, yeah, if you were to go ahead and buy a land, could have not actually be able to help you to pay your rent. And that is exactly the primary thing that you're aiming to get. And at the same time, it is giving you the cash flow so that at least now, what happens? I know the, I'm not saying that you should never go ahead and build. No, remember one thing: you still wanna go ahead and do the buildings. Now, instead of having this money lying idle in a bank, put in a money market fund that is giving you 13%, which is 130,000, giving you like roughly 12,300 or something of sort. You can do the actual mathematics, and again, that money that you're getting, you can actually use that to pay for your house rent. And remember one thing: still, your money is out there; it is still intact. The million bob is still there, and is giving you some baby cash here that you are using to actually sustain yourself. All right. Now, what happens now? You can decide now to continue doing what you are doing before the process and the formula that you use to actually acquire this amount of money. Keep on pumping in more money. Keep on pumping in more money. Now, what exactly happens here is that you find that this amount of money that you are getting again to top up the a million bob, because obviously, just like you said when we were starting this video, the a million bob is not enough to actually buy your piece of land and you come up with a home. You can actually apply the same formula, do what you call the delayed gratification, and use the appropriate route to actually acquire you a home now what you do instead now the money that you're getting in because let's say, let's say maybe you want to raise this money up to something let's say according to your budget probably three million will be enough for you to build a home and something or sort now plus the million bob let's see for the land that gives you like four million that's what you need instead of putting this money into a land yeah i know banking or land banking is a real thing it's a good thing it depends if you do not have a problem with cash flow it's okay you can go with that route but if you feel like hey guess what you're still not able you're not still not uh, you're not stable financially and what have you what happens if your target is four million what if you have the first million get this first million working for you and paying your rent as you pumping in the extra three for you to realize the amount of money and you can imagine this so if a million bob is giving you twelve thousand a month if a million bob is giving you twelve thousand a month see if you are to multiply this by four then it means by the time now you're acquiring the four million you're getting yourself forty eight thousand that's for sure you're getting yourself forty eight thousand guess what happens now this forty eight thousand is not only enough to pay you for your house rent but also it's able to pay your bills and what have you well it depends on your lifestyle maybe may not pay all your bills but largely or large part of your bills actually is catered for each and every month now when you're at this particular level you can decide hey i'm gonna go ahead and withdraw my four million go buy myself a piece of land somewhere and i start acquisition of my own home later rather than hurry you see there is always this kind of a hurry when people they talk about you owning a home sometimes you're not even stable financially you go ahead take a loan against your salary to actually acquire a home which well depends on who you ask some will call it a liability others will call it an asset and what have you but see the point is this there is nothing wrong with you acquiring a home i totally support it i love it and everyone out there loves it but what we get it wrong is the formula that you use to actually go ahead and acquire that piece of property so what exactly did i say on this video 
Instead of going getting that a piece of land with a million bob that does not cannot help you to build a home, go ahead and put it in a money market fund that is giving you returns each and every month. And by the way, remember one thing before you even continue. This money that is in that MMF, you can actually withdraw it at any given moment, meaning that you're still liquid. If an opportunity, say maybe a better opportunity shows up than what you're having right now, you can go ahead and acquire the money and be able to do something. And again, that return that you're getting out of that money is what you're using to actually help you pay your house rent and at the same time you keep on pumping in more money because you know very well that a million bob is not enough to actually pay you uh, or rather build your home and such kind of a thing and you can just imagine in between the day one when you actually did put your million bob as your uh, starting principle up to the time now you're acquiring your four million this is the amount of money that you're gonna be yeah uh, you're gonna get the moment you clock the four million investment and guess what happens i'm assuming a lot of things here one i'm assuming that there are no compound interest of which in the money market fund there is a compound interest but then now you accumulate it to uh, this amount of money but anyway they may not apply because you're getting the baby money that is being made to pay for your house rent but assuming that if you are to ignore that amount of money and pay your rent using any other way and you actually let that 12,000 stay in that particular investment continuously in a period of let's say maybe this one will take you like four years or five years or six years that's the time now you start to realize the magic of compound that's the time now you start to realize wow I didn't know exactly this I always tell people when you are investing you do not realize great things, especially when you invest for the first year. Even the second year, you start to realize, yeah, something is happening. But the moment you clock the third year, the fourth year, that's time now you start to realize that the money is multiplying like crazy. That's for sure. Okay. Now, remember one thing. Investments are more of capital safeguards, you know, whereby you safeguard your capital or preserve your uh, capital preservations, if you may call it so. And it can actually help you to actually pay your rent. I'm seeing it is like a, a rent hacking kind of a system in a way. Did you get the point of what I've, I've just said? And if you did, come on, tell me on the comment section. Hey, guess what? I got the point that you exactly said. And by the way, guys, if you would like to know more information about money market fund, perhaps you feel like I'm talking about a strange language or something of sort. I can promise you this is not rocket science. It's one of the easy, easiest areas where you can be able to get started. My number is always on the description of this specific video. You can grab it or my email is as well there. You can shoot me a call or a text or an email or what have you. And then we can be able to take you through step by step on how you can get started on this money market fund investments method. And that, that goes for just a cup of coffee price. Okay. For now, it's a goodbye, but never forget. Like the video, comment down below and tell me when you're where you're watching me from and see you in the next one.